Appalachian coal that will fuel giant furnaces, producing steel and energy for the industries of the world. begins far from the sea. Across mountains and valleys. It begins with a railroad, the Norfolk and Western. Deep within the earth, in the heart of the rich Appalachian coal fields of Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky, more than 200 mines feed their black treasure to Norfolk and Western's vast rail system. A system spanning a territory with coal reserves totaling seven and a half billion tons. Today's rail freight cars are bigger and heavier than ever. That means greater carrying capacity. But it also means more stress on car components, couplers, and yokes. To increase the life and reduce the failure rate of draft components, manufacturers had to change the metallurgical makeup to provide a tougher product. This resulted in a quenching and tempering process instead of normalizing and tempering, as in the past. Southern did not have facilities to quench the HTE and HTQ couplers. The projected loss from downgraded and scrapped couplers in five years would be over one million dollars per year. But Southern gave the green light to innovation and developed Haynes Coupler Reprocessing Facility. Flashovers can occur on any direct current motor and generator, and as a result, the problem is not confined to railroad service. They occur in electrified streetcars, mill motors, and a large variety of other industrial applications of DC rotating equipment. The causes of flashover are many and varied, and are not within the scope of this film. However, the purpose here is to show what happens when a traction motor does flash, and the extent of damage that can result. To become better acquainted with the problem, let us first look at a traction motor that has been removed from a locomotive because of a wire band failure due to flashover. This is Southern Train 154, over. How many cars do you have for Charlotte? Over. 20 cars for Charlotte, over. Thanks, 154. From Washington to New Orleans, from St. Louis to Jacksonville, trains move more goods than any other means of transportation. 
connecting cities, towns, and even the smallest communities. rework a shifted load, to buy the load, to warehouse it, to sell it as damaged goods. What does it cost to repair a car body or underframe? What is the cost of a few weeks of premium, a car out of service waiting for repair? A great deal of damage to railroad ladings and equipment occurs when free rolling cars are coupled to a stationary cut of cars. It is now possible to reduce that damage dramatically. At coupling speeds of two or three miles per hour, the damage potential is virtually eliminated. Unfortunately, relatively few free rolling couplings take place at less than four miles per hour, as shown by AAR DB Circular 1594. As speeds increase, damage rises sharply with the square of the speed and simple multiplication tells us that 4 is really 16. 6 is now 36.